Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. Another tavern brawl is upon us, and it's my time! Absolutely. Heart of the Sunwell is the theme. You start with 10 mana. You know what would be ideal for that? Legendaries! Lots and lots of legendaries and a couple of pyroblasts for good measure, of course. Nothing below 6 mana in this one. I think there's all sorts of interesting things you could do with this, but me being an uninteresting person decided to demonstrate how much money I've spent on this game by putting in as many legendaries as humanly possible. So there you go. It's a great chance to get Nosdormu out on turn one and really make the game interesting. Let's give it a shot, shall we? It's a good chance to revisit the Lord of the Legendaries. You might be asking, well, why, do you play, why don't you play your 30 Legendary deck anymore? It's impossible. You can't do it. You can't win a single game with it anymore. You know, even the guys down at rank 20 are playing effective net decks that you just can't beat. So this is my time. It's my chance to shine for a couple of days. This is literally pay to win mode. Hmm. Alex Straza opening. That sounds very good. I'm going to toss the Malagos. Yeah, let's toss the Malagos and the Hogger. We're going to keep the Alex Straza for the turn one play here. But Nosdormu. Nosdormu. Okay, Alex Straza turn two play. All right, here we go. And we get to go first, which is excellent. Have a Nosdormu. All right, go! Speed Hearthstone. It's going so fast that the end turn button didn't get a chance to turn over. Mush, mush. Quick, quick. He's sprinting. Okay, he's drawing cards. All right, that means he lacks momentum. Excellent. Good. Time for the Alexstrasza. Here we go. What's he got? He's Oh, he's sapping it! That's just disappointing. Alright, okay then. Alright, fine, fine. If you're gonna be like that. You see, now he's got time, but he only has one mana. Pfft. You see, I see spells in that deck that cost less than eight. That is disappointing. Have an Alexstrasza for your troubles. There you go. And for some reason, the sand effect is still here. We're gonna have to... I think if you keep playing Nosdoma, the sand effect gets worse, actually. So, it'll be interesting. Assassinate. It doesn't matter. I've taken 15 health off you. I'm fine with that. Oh, Faceless Manipulator. All right. Well, I mean, that's not too incredible. Shiv for a card draw. He's shivving my face for a card draw. Conceal. Okay. This is an interesting deck he has here. And he's sapping again. All right. Well, I'm actually okay with that. Although I am about to take a bunch of damage, which is not incredible. I'm thinking we're Ragnaros here. That's the best option. I, sh I also missed the Fire Blast. That was silly. There we go. Please kill the Alexstrasza. That's okay too. <laughs> Get him down to seven. Not too shabby. And then if I can just do a Pyro Blast, that's game over. So let's see. It's like, ah, I have these incredible combinations. Oh god, it's a Malagos Spell Power Rogue. Oh Christ. It's gonna say, wasn't I one of the ones that did that? But this isn't a real... This isn't a real one, though. This is like a practical one, one that actually works. I did the ultimate spell power rogue with Ancient Mage. This is not the same at all. A nine damage eviscerate. Yeah! That's actually really unpleasant. I actually really need this Pyroblaster. I'm probably going to lose here. Oh, okay, cool. We can blow up one of his minions. That's all right. That's probably the way to go, isn't it? Ren Blackhand here. I'd hope that we... Uh, it's a 50-50 for the win, right? Yeah, okay. Ren Blackhand, kill the Malagos, 50-50 win. There we go. I mean, that, uh, just in case. Go on, 50-50 win, 50-50 win. Go, go, go. Yeah! Easy! Scrub Tier Rogue. Fantastic. We have literally paid to win. Excellent. Let's keep paying to win. Absolutely. <laughs> I feel dirty. This is great. This is the best, absolute best brawl they could have possibly come up with. You know, I should put a couple of Faithless Manipulators in there as well. Yeah, that might be cool. I really should. I'll have another look at the deck after this match, because I'm thinking, look, you get 10 mana, play a really cool creature, then you double Faceless Manipulator that guy. It's another rogue. I think a lot of people are playing sort of Miracle Spell Power stuff, which I think is not too unreasonable. I have a Malagos in my deck, and maybe it's not the best choice. And I keep the Rag, absolutely. I think a turn one Rag is not terrible. Turn one Trogzor, actually, against a Rogue might not be awful either. Let's toss these two. Yeah, turn one Trogzor is okay. The main problem, I suppose, is that with this deck, you end up in a situation where you've got a lot of wasted mana. So like, if you really wanted to optimize this deck, then you wouldn't include as many of these sort of high-cost things. Did he? He's got no play. Do I just... Oh, I'm so tempted just to do... Uh, I've got Archmage, which is just lovely here, but we'll see. See what he comes up with. It's like, if he's a rogue, he's probably playing a lot of spells, so opening Trogzor is pretty good. But yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a bit of imbalance with this deck because you can't play more than one thing. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 
played our trap card. Yep, that's the count of the rogue decks, folks. Yep, nothing to see here. Play Trogs or the Earthinator, Miracle Rogue instantly concedes. Absolutely. That's, yep, I would too. Oh, man. Ah, oh, Trogzor, your time to shine is now. How lovely. Must be wonderful for you to yeah. finally realize your true potential here. Mm. Shall we shall see about that. Alright, Warlocks. So we're probably going to be seeing Jaraxxus and Malganus and all sorts of shenanigans here, aren't we? Oh yes, very, very probable. Okay, probably keep the... keep the rag. Yeah, let's just go for the high cost stuff right now. It really just makes sense. If you're going to play it this way, play it this way properly. It's not the optimal way to play it, but we're doing this for fun. Starting off with Malganus. Okay, uh, I'm going to start off by blowing up your Malganus, I bloody well hope. Yeah, or I could just kill it. Yeah, I actually rend Blackhand is probably better here rather than risking the rag. Sorry! <laughs> Goodbye, Malganus. All right. There's you, screwed. Thank you very much. Oh, rend Blackhand, you are so good this week. Hmm. Also, that's a really, really nice card back. Where do you get that from? It's probably one of the pay-to-win card backs. Always tapping. That's okay, don't worry, I have many more legendaries to show you. They're gonna be wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Here, have a Ragnaros, for instance. There we go, that that would be just lovely, wouldn't it? And there's pink to the face. Alright, that's that off the board. Let's see what else he's got. Probably Siphon Cell, but it's alright. We've got plenty of great minions to show you. Another life tap coming out. Yep, there's the Siphon Cell, alright. Okay, that's fine. You don't have a lot of momentum going here. That's fine. I don't mind. I'm alright with that. Let's see you survive this! Mush, mush, mush! How many more Siphon Souls you got in there? How many old big game hunters? Quick, make decisions! You've got 10 mana! Make decisions! Rapidly! Oh, it's an Emperor Thorazin! That we're gonna kill pretty much immediately. That's fine. Alright, yes, okay, mush, mush, mush. Fantastic. Alright, here you go. Bop! There we go. Let's get the Grawl on the board. Let's get that growing. That's what we like to see. Alright, your turn, sir. Your turn. That's now an 8-8. Let's see it grow a little bit bigger. Again, Grawl's time to shine. It's so rare to see Grawl shining. Come on! Quick, 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 quick! You don't have much time. You don't have much time. Oh, he's getting rid of the Nosdormu. He can't handle the pressure. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. There's only a few pro gamers that can handle the Nozdormu pressure, and he was not one of them. He will never qualify for BlizzCon at this rate. Absolutely not. Lovely, lovely. That's what we like to see. All right. Well, if you're going to be casting spells, I proclaim upon you that you will deal with Trogs or the Earthinator. Thank you very much. Now you're down to 12 HP. Now that's a scary 10-10. Is that not wonderful? What you got? Let us see. Let's see that uh, Twisting Nether, maybe. That's fine. I've got plenty more to show you. I'm going to empty my hand and then Deathwing. To be fair, emptying the hand is pretty much impossible with this tech. This coin's not that useful either, really, is it? Definitely going first seems to be advantageous. Though there's some situations where that wouldn't be true. Like, there you go. There's the Twisting Nether, which unfortunately sucks everything in. All right. Okay. Don't worry. I have more legendaries to show you. It's very rare that you get to see Twisting Nether outside of an arena, but it's neat to see nonetheless. That is a really nice card bug. Hmm. Molten Giants, all right. Hmm. We can make that work. Thinking about the Doctor Boom here. Sneed might not be terrible, but the problem is Sneed doesn't trade well with Molten Giant. Could, of course, just Deathwing him and rely on him not having a counter to it, but then again, I do throw away my entire hand if I do that, which maybe is not the best idea. So we're going to go with a Doctor Boom and we'll ping his face. There we go. That's what I like to see. As for classes for this, well, I went with Mage because both of the Mage legendaries are pretty good. Flame Leviathan, maybe not so much, but Antonidas is obviously fun. If you get the coin, you've got Toshley in there to give you a couple of spare parts, which can also trigger it. And you've got things like Nefarian to get some spells to trigger it without having to actually put too many spells in there. And of course, the Pyroblasts are always nice. Now, get him down to 10, hopefully draw a Pyroblast, and that's wonderful. I mean, hell, you could probably go with, like, a fairly heavy draw deck with just... If you've got a deck which is nothing but draw two Pyroblasts on Alex Straza, then... You can draw through and then just bombard him with spells. You can have the spell bombardment build here. Yeah, that would work. That would be pretty great. Man, especially if you combo that with Chromagus. Just get bonus fireballs. That would be lovely. 
Yeah, just a straight up draw, draw, nuke down kind of deck. That might work. All right, well, at least we know there's no Malganus there. All right, he's going to detonate it. Okay. Oh, is he actually going to... Shadow Flame? Shadow Flame's good. Yeah, nice. Solid plays. All right, now we are in trouble. <laughs> this might be a deathwing situation. This is... Oh, well, that's an opportunity for Black Knight, but... Still not 100% sure on this one. Make sure Thermal Plug. Okay. Hmm. Do I just Deathwing here? He's down to three cards. Screw it. Screw it! We don't get to do this very often. All right. Do you have an answer to Deathwing? If not, you're dead. Incoming Siphon Soul. Then I really hope to draw something that doesn't suck. <laughs> yeah, I can think people would probably theory craft this pretty hard because the amount of combos you can actually access early game with 10 mana me no this is an opportunity to play a lot of legendaries and laugh at people that's all it is to me that would help i don't know if that's actually going to help you too much to be fair i mean i am still going to beat your face in please pyroblast toshley uh, i guess you're getting played but there are possibilities here Finicky Cloaky Field. Ooh. Ooh, that's not very nice. Ooh. <laughs> What's worse than a Deathwing? An invisible Deathwing. Can he do 14 damage to me in one turn? He's already burned one Doom Guard. So maybe not. He's going to do 11 damage plus his attack. Can you do that as a Warlock with 10 mana? But yes, we're about to find out. Dark Bomb to face. Okay. That's three. Doom Guard. That's still not enough. Ah, he... W I see what he was trying to do. He was hoping that he wouldn't discard his Power Overwhelming. Then he actually could have got the win. That was a gamble. That was a gamble. Pretty major gamble. Didn't pay off. But brave, nonetheless. Brave. Okay. It's all minutes in. We've got like three games done already. This is great. This is super fast. Great way to earn gold, incidentally. You're looking to do that. You get your games done three times as fast as regularly. Okay, a priest. Watch out for mind control. A pyroblast to start with is probably not the worst. Oh, both pyroblasts. Okay, all right. Discard that, discard that. Hope for Alex Straza, and then we can maybe beat the crap out of him. All right. We'll see. Do you open with a pyro here? I don't think you do. I think you open up with Dr. Boom. It's just, it's a little bit better on the board. Oh, Ragnaros. Okay, we definitely open up with Dr. Boom then. Or we just Pyroblast the Rag, which I think is bad, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, Dr. Boom probably here. That would work pretty well in this situation. There you go. Have one of those. All right, so that means 20, only 25% chance of being hit in the face. I don't know. I might still lose it. If he's able to clear the board, I, I'm going to have to answer that Rag with a Pyro, which I really don't want to do. Oh, my. Uh... Oh, okay. Hit the bombs. Hit the bombs. Hit the bombs. This is awful. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. You win. You win. Oh, jeez. I don't think much br more brutal than that. Oh, ouch. My feelings. Okay, uh, let's do a quick edit. I'm thinking, like, we want to toss away maybe some of the re some of the six stuff, which isn't as good, and maybe get some five stuff that we can play more than one of in a turn. And can we, uh, Ken can go. That's not that great. My action is a bit slow, I think. Maybe get rid of that. But we definitely want a couple of faceless, I think, in this situation. There we go. And what kind of legendaries can we look at that are five mana? And there aren't that many. Let's see. I mean, we've got, you could put Starling and Fugin in. That would not be bad. You could play them both on one turn. Lower Theb would be pretty great, I think. Yeah, so let's uh, let's refine this a little bit. I mean, realistically, Hogger, not awful, but not brilliant. So I think we get rid of him and put in Lower Theb. Let's see, what else? Do we really want the Flame Leviathan? I mean, what use is a Flame Leviathan? Two damage to all characters when these guys are playing big, beefy stuff? Probably not that useful. So I guess we get rid of that. Uh, Leroy is good because we're trying to, like, burst somebody down. I would say that's pretty cool. I want to fit in Starling and Fugan somewhere so we can get out Thaddeus where possible. 
wouldn't necessarily rate any of the others. But getting a couple of those sort of 10 mana 2-5 drop combinations is probably pretty good. Rend has proven himself worthy, so we're going to keep him. He's great. Faux Reaper's pretty great if you want to cleave your way through multiple opponents. Not that you're going to be facing all that many opponents, I don't think. Grohl has proven great. Kel'Thuzad is obviously fantastic. Uh, I like Nozdormu for comedy effect, so I think we have to keep him. Maybe Malagos isn't so great, because, I mean, we're not really going to be casting that many spells with Malagos, are we? So... Maybe we toss him and get Fugan in, so we need to cut one more. Who do we cut? Who do we cut? I mean, Sneed's a little bit slow, isn't it? Is there anything down the bottom that's maybe better? I like Mogar. Mogar's good comedy. That's great. Black Knight, okay. I like Toshli because he synergizes a little bit here with Archmage Antonidas. As soon as I toss Black Knight, I'm going to run into a wall of taunts, aren't I? Okay, we'll get rid of Moga. All right. There we go. Okay, so a little, little bit of refinement. All right, let's give this one a try. Little bit improved. Couple of little combinations that we can do. As opposed to just playing one card per turn. That might help. I mean, not that you can't win with this. Of course you can, absolutely. But maybe this will assist just a little. I guess we'll find out, won't we? All right, let's see what they come up with. Alright. Gotta watch out with priests and their obvious theft. Okay. Faceless Manip. Nozdomu opening. Yes, I'm gonna toss these. Double Nozdomu does not stack, I'm afraid, as much as I wish that it did. You know, I'm tempted to throw down the lower theb first, but... That doesn't really make any sense because I've not got nothing on the board to protect. Mountain Giant. All right. Well, okay then. Uh, Anixia in that case, I think, is probably the way to go. Yeah, have a full board of nonsense. Enjoy that. It's like if they kill the Anixia, at least I still have the whelps on the board, so that's not too bad. I'm definitely thinking Nefarian against a priest. All sorts of shenanigan possibilities with that. That would just be lovely. Yep, kill the Anixia. Force tank max. All right. And a mind vision. Uh-oh. Hopefully he got the coin out of that. Don't like that force tank max. There's not really a great deal I can do about it at the moment, though. I, mean, I could clone it, but I don't really see the point in that. Hmm. All right. Let's throw down the Nefarian. And a holy smite. Is that actually enough to kill it? It is. Lovely. Lovely. All right, here you go. Holy smite and have five whelps. Da, 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 da. Yes. All right, cool. That did the job. Not too unhappy with that. Shadow of Pain probably isn't going to be too useful here, but you never know. You never know what he's going to come up with. My Exner. <laughs> Shadow of Pain's probably not going to be too useful. Oh, you played that. Well, that is very unfortunate. <laughs> Goodbye, my exna. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to chat. There's our Nozdormu. There we go. Couple of 8-8 eight, eight dragons on the board. Let's accelerate things just a little bit. Make things a little bit more exciting. What you got, fellow? What you got? Mind control? Yeah, okay. Well, that's your entire turn, so I don't really mind that too much. That's okay. Hmm. Best way to deal with this. Probably that. Let's do that. Let's get the Chromagus out just so that we can have a couple of extra legendary options. That would be nice. You know, we could faceless manipulate to that. Hmm. Three copies of legendary cards. Nope, never mind. <laughs> well, it was an idea, wasn't it? I'm half tempted just to Deathwing that just for the sake of it. That was both of his mind controls, wasn't it? Deathwing it! Mind control that! This is where he Shadow Word deaths it. <laughs> was that wise? No. Absolutely not. I kept my Black Knight, right? I can't remember if I did or not. I certainly hope I did. Alright, Sylvanas. Ping City. Glad I picked a mage at this point. You're just slowing down your inevitable demise, sir. Deathwing will eat you, and your family, and your children's children. 
Your unborn children. He's that dangerous. Alright. Um, I mean, I would have maybe blown up the Deathwing rather than that, but okay. He's got another one, hasn't he? Or some other way to deal with it. A four stack max. Alright, well, that will eventually kill it, but as it stands, we don't really care too much. Hello, Toshley, what you got for me? Whirling Blades. Alright. What is better than a... You know, I'm not going to play that because we could use that with an Antonidas, maybe. Alright, just uh, take 12 to the face. Why not? That seems more reasonable, doesn't it? Alright, that buffs that up enough, but that's fine. It's no big deal. We did a ton of damage with it, and he's down to the same number of cards as I am. Admittedly, his card is probably better than the Whirling Blades, but whatever. As it turns out, that card is actually going to be very useful right now, because we're going to do that with it. There we go. I was, temp I was half tempted to blow up my own Toshley for a spare part, but I think that would be a little bit ungrateful. It's like, no one's going to ever want to work for me in a deck again if I keep blowing up my own stuff. Okay, that kind of sucks, but whatever. If I pull Fugin out here, it'll be nice. Baron Geddon. Yeah, you'll do. You will absolutely do. Goodbye, you, and goodbye, Toshley. Necessary sacrifice. Do you have an answer? You've thrown up just about everything at me. Another Stormwind champion? No, that's not going to do the job, I'm afraid. And that, as they say, I think is that. Lovely. Just because we can. <laughs> ah! You know, mind control sounds great in theory, but it takes your entire turn to do it. And if the guy's just got another, like, ridiculous drop waiting, it's maybe not even that good. But stuff like Shadow of Death, of course, is fantastic. And mind vision and thought steel would be brilliant, too. All right, then. Let's see what else we can do. Yeah, I think the the five drops are a little bit of a nicer choice. Give you a few more options. This is going to be a lot of trees, isn't it? Kel'Thuzad is always nice to have, certainly. Uh, the Man, Faceless Manipulator on Kel'Thuzad. Double Kel'Thuzad is going to be really hard to get rid of. Let's toss the Sylvanas. Ooh, my God. <laughs> All right, we've got to. We've got to do this. Absolutely. Again, Mr. Ping. Silly me. Unnecessary missing of a ping. Iron Bark Protector. Okay, yes, you are scary. Absolutely. But what if... What if we had three Kel'Thuzad's? <laughs> what if we had that... What would happen then? I would imagine that's quite hard to get rid of. I would imagine... <laughs> I would imagine four Kel'Thuzad's. Four Kel'Thuzad's. Ah, ah, oh, oh. This could take a while. Ads. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> we found the winning combo, folks. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that. Oh, my. That is lovely. You know, I'm actually a bit disappointed you didn't try and fight that one out, but maybe fighting six Kelthus ads was a little bit too much. I had no idea that it res multiple Kel'Thuzad's. I thought I didn't count, but I guess it does. Exciting times. Hmm. Not really worth trying to get the Starling and Fugan combo, is it? Starling and Lower Theb opening maybe not be... I don't know. That's You might want to hold on to that. Let's just toss it for higher mana stuff. Okay. Faux Reaper's not a terrible opening. Anything you put down on the board explodes, in theory. 
I'm not going to forget it this time. There we go. Optimal damage. I mean, getting rid of 6 9 is difficult. Let's see what he's got. There's your iron bark. All right. I was going to eat that in the face. Hmm. I think we may put our own iron bark, perhaps. Man, I wish you had something next to it that we could cleave it with. That would be lovely. I'm half tempted to pyroblast the bastard. Hmm. So many choices. I don't really want to pyroblast it, though. But it will die next turn. I think Faceless Manipulator might actually be the way to go. Just clone his own iron bark. <sighs> Is it, though? Maybe I should pyroblast it. Because, I mean, he can't have too many more of those. Then if he starts to put things down the board, we just cleave right through it. And just get him down to 10 and send the other Pyroblast right at him. Okay. Alright. If that's how it's going to be. Aha! That's actually kind of almost worse, isn't it? Hmm. Well, this is an interesting situation, isn't it? Very interesting. We can't kill it, but we can clone it. And then we can throw down the lower Theb. And then we do exceptional damage. You know, I probably should have just gone face. We'll see. I mean, this is relatively dangerous. Don't put down little things next to big things with a Foe Reaper on the board. Never a good idea. Shame we couldn't quite kill it, but close enough. I probably missed five lethals already. <laughs> no, evidently not. Psychological warfare also quite effective. Because, I mean, half the time it just seems like, oh, I have two Pyroblasts in my hand, I should go face always. Because as long as I get him to 20 health, I can kill him. But never mind. It worked. It's fine. You know, are we going to get many straight up victories? Or are people just going to be conceding? It's entirely possible that we're going to be getting nothing but concedes. Alright, another priest. Okay. Alright. Trogzor, always nice to have. Archmage Antonidas, I would have held on to if I had the coin. But I don't, so I won't. I'm going to toss these two. Probably a Trogzor start is maybe not awful. Nefarian, always nice too. We like that, we like that. Leroy Jenkins at this point is essentially just a fireball. But you can also face this manipulator that for 12 damage, so it's not too bad. Alright. Oh, do we open up with the Trogzor? Oh, but Emperor Thor isn't. Now with the Trogzor. Trogzor is probably the right call. Shut down any early spell shenanigans. Or at least slow them down a little bit. Mage. Oh. Alright then. Okay then. Yeah, I suppose that works. That's somewhat unfortunate because that kills that immediately. Hmm. Do I play my own Nefarian here? I mean, I could kill that, but not without throwing two things at it, which makes very little sense. I'll probably play my own Nefarian. Alright. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get some spells on the board. And a mind vision. That's lovely. Let's have a look and see what you got. Ah, Shadow of Death. Heh, <laughs> useful. Shadow form... Um, I guess that's actually a direct upgrade, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, why not? Oh well, yeah, he's gonna kill that, which kind of sucks. And he's gonna kill that too, which also kind of sucks. But I can do the same thing to him. So I could Shadow form... And Leroy, that's kind of bad. I don't want to do that. Ew. All right. Someone has been paid to winning just as much as I have. Okay. Can we get rid of everything here? Probably. Yeah, I'm correct in assuming that, aren't I? Here is Shadow Form Mage, which is going to blow up that. And then we will kill that as well. There we go. That should reset things just a little bit. Maybe I can clean things up enough to get Thorazen down. I doubt it, though. It's clean board. It's Anixia time. Oh no, don't give him any of those. Those are all good. Please no Anixia. What's he playing? 
yeah. Yes, you're not very pleasant, are you? No, no, no. I don't like you. Absolutely not. Ooh, lower third might be good here, but... What kind of spells has he got? I still think Anixia on an empty board is probably better. Ah, I wish Sylvanas was still 5 mana. Lower Theb Sylvanas, what a turn that would be. I'm about to get destroyed, aren't I? Well, Shadow of Death isn't affected by spell damage, so that's both of his deaths gone. Hey, Baron Geddon! Ouch! Yep, that would blow up everything. That is just the card you need in that situation. Okay, hello, Rend Blackhand. I don't have any dragons, though! Oh, the one time Rend Blackhand actually would have been really, really useful, and I don't have any bloody dragons on the board. Ah, typical, isn't it? Sylvanas, probably good here. Don't really know who to hit at this point. I guess we sort of just work on him. This made things a little bit difficult. I have so many dragons in my deck, and none of them in my hand right now. Also bear in mind, he has two mage spells. I need to remember that. So two of the cards in his hand are mage spells. He hasn't used any yet. We're behind on this one, because he has just as many legendaries as I. How dare he also pay to win? Where's the fun in that? Should be putting out his force tank maxes. Ooh, hi! I don't like you. Not at all. Ugh. Okay, yeah, that puts me down to two. That's uh, not great. Mm, okay, what, what could we possibly do here to recover? Not much, actually. Faceless Manipulator. I need to have to hold the dragon for that to work. I mean, I can Faceless Manip that, but I can't kill it. I wonder. Hmm, what can... I can eliminate that and steal one of these, but I still lose. I have to clear the board to even stand... The thing is, he's got two mage spells, so I'm probably dead anyway, right? Uh, what if I go to face? Can I do the damage? Six... Oh, I don't have, quite have enough. Yeah, because that would be, what, six... 12. Ah, yeah. Too short. Too short. Uh, huh. I mean, I think I'm boned, aren't I? Uh, I don't know, Leroy. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, 6 12. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so. This is the only way to do it. Oh, god damn it. I just fucked up. Ah, god. These two. These two just screwed it up for me. Oh no, he's gonna steal a whelp, isn't he? Ah, kill myself. Ah, I'm an idiot. Why did I do it in that order? I wanted to eliminate one, so I ensured that I got what the one that I wanted, and then I just remembered as I was playing it. No, that gives you two whelps. No, you idiot. Why would you do something like that? Mm. Foolish, foolish mortal. Well, that was un that was unpleasant. He probably had me the turn after that anyway. I was two damage short, though. Mm. Which is interesting, because if I had thrown that goddamn Shadow Word Pain... Uh, the, sorry, the whatever it is, the Shadow Form attack at his face, instead of throwing it at Malagos, I actually would have had lethal right there, because that, that would have been exactly 17. Oh. Well, bollocks. Ah, such is the way of it. Okay, uh, have a turn one, Alex Draza. <laughs> That's half your health gone. All right, good start. Then uh, we attack and Pyroblast and he dies, assuming he doesn't have a way of killing that, which he probably does. Oh, well, that's disappointing. I was hoping for the two-turn kill. That would have been lovely, but no. Not going to get that just yet. Okay. And his thought stealing. That's bad news. Okay, so Pyroblast in the face doesn't make a lot of sense. Trogzor is okay. Ysera's probably the way to go here, I think. Just get Ysera out nice and early. Because at least it's a word it's immune to his shadow words, so it's probably the better bet. There we go. Have one of those. And then we could possibly set up something with that. Dream? Okay, we don't want to return that to its hand at all. That would be a bad idea. So let's not do that. Maybe it has mind control. I guess we'll find out. Ragnaros, okay, yeah. This could actually tank for me. Come on, tank the rag shot. Tank the rag shot. Take it for me. Please do. Thank you. There you go. Earning its keep. Right, so we've got 14 damage. Dream. 
I mean, Dream does return it to its hand, which I guess is okay, but it's not brilliant, is it? But it's better than nothing. Get it off the board. I, the only other way I've got to remove it is that pyro, so... Yeah, get that off the board. Thank you very much. Probably kill that. I don't know. No, we prefer another dream card, so I don't really see the point in killing it now. Don't pyro face just yet, I don't think. Probably Sneeds. Yeah. Sneeds ping. And then get another dream card. And hopefully get something... Get one of the buffs. Well, Emerald Drake's still okay, I suppose. A better than nothing. Yep, you do that. That's fine. He's playing the rag again. Oh, he's going to mind control the Sneeds. All right, yeah, that would do it. Okay, well... He could have done a lot worse, couldn't he? What to go with here? Make Junior Thermoplug? Don't often get to play that. Might as well give it a shot. Like it's gonna get Shadow of Death, isn't it? <laughs> yup! Oh, Ren Blackhanded! Alright, yeah. Someone else had the same idea. Are oh, we so low? But not low enough. We need that other Pyroblast. But to be fair, with what he's got on the board, he's going to kill me very quickly. Uh-oh. Well, that could have been more intimidating, but hey. Uh, ooh. No, that's not going to be enough, because it's going to heal through this. So that's not going to do the job. And that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, dear. It's not good, is it? We have messed up royally. It's like, that sounds great in theory, but it's not going to do it. I think we're dead. Oh, he stole me, Pyro. Okay, yeah, we're dead. All right, then. Fair, fair cop, fair cop. All right, I took a quick break to watch the new expansion announcement. The Grand Tournament looks really interesting, to say the least. Okay, let's do one more. Maybe two more, depending on how quickly the guy concedes. I think we have to end on a win, right? It's, it's got to happen. That expansion looks... Hmm. Man. I do love it when they announce new expansions. That means new gimmick decks. That means new videos. So that's always good. Okay, what do we have here? Another priest. A lot of priests. I guess the whole thought steal thing is too tempting. Alex Straza Pyro. Pretty nice to have in hand. Probably tops for the mech junior. Maybe see if we can get something a little bit more useful. Yeah. Alex Straza opening is about as good as you can expect it to be. Don't think there is a better opening than that, really. Except, as we saw earlier, Kel'Thuzad into Faceless Manipulator is pretty good, too. We will start with that. If this rag misses, I win. Come on, 50-50, Ah, Damn. That's disappointing. Okay. I think, like, the only removal we really got for this rag is the pyro. That's the sad thing about it. I think we got to pyroblast it. Oh, that sucks. I don't like that. Well, that rag was super effective. Man, that was a 50-50 chance of him losing him. Oh my god! Oh. Uh, I think that's actually concede. Because I don't think I have a way of getting rid of that. Maybe if I pull Nefarian next turn. Not Nefarian, sorry. Uh... Okay, now he's just taking the piss. Now, right, okay, we need Deathwing, basically. Otherwise, we lose immediately. I'm right. All I'm saying is I mean, I wouldn't describe myself as a god per se. No, just someone with a comparable power of some description, you know. Maybe some sort of demigod maybe. All of these are possible. All right, we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Back up to almost full. 
I have a solution to that problem. <laughs> Beat the crap out of him. There we go. All right, Poly Shadow or Death or your mind control or something along those lines. Did we just snatch victory from the jaws of defeat? Ow! Okay. He's not dead yet. That's sad. All right, well, the Deathwing did the job for the most part. Emperor Thorazin, this is like the last possible time that I would like to see you. I mean, I don't really think of a single scenario where Emperor Thorazin wouldn't be good, except we've just found one. Oh, dear. Man, we almost had him. <laughs> almost had him twice. And this is where he pulls the good stuff out of my deck. All right, so I am very much relying on getting good top decks here. That's uh, not bad. All right, I'll take that. Yeah, sure. This Emperor Thorazin is useless because I'm probably always going to play what's in my hand. It's one of those rare two-turn Thorazins that get nothing done whatsoever. Okay. All right. We're not out of it yet. This is where we get light bombed a second time. How's your Drake? All right. Okay, that's not too powerful. What else you got? Oh, damn. Oh my good stuff. All right, we're not done with good stuff yet. We're not done with good stuff yet. Absolutely not. Yeah, I want that off the board. There we go. Let's get that grill rolling. Okay. He's got a mind controller, isn't he? <laughs> this is priests in a nutshell. Are we going to see a mind control? Or do you have your other shadow word, death? Slice his... All right. Interesting. But... Nine, ten... Am I one short? I'm one short, aren't I? Ugh. No, I'm not. Of course, I've got hero power. Never mind. There we go. Eventually <laughs> snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. Wonderful. Wonderful. There you go. That's a, a great way to finish things off. Okay, let's have a look at what's in the pack before we wrap up. This is a lot of fun, but admittedly, I do feel that this is pay to win week. So I'm going to be enjoying it greatly. It's going to be lovely. One time only return of the uh, Lord of the Legendaries. Ooh, not a... Well, okay. It's, it's a good dust pack, I suppose. My name's been Total Biscuit. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.